Hi, Alan from Blue Water Campers. Here I am today to introduce our new Blue Water Yarra. So the Blue Water Yarra has a number of features which have been combined from a couple of our other models and we've turned into the best of both worlds really. So I'm gonna show you around. Just to lift the hatch and this exposes uh, sink, our Thetford 3 burner stove, as well as a bucket load of uh, storage up the top for all sorts of things. It has power here, it has connections for your TV which can be mounted on the side of the camper here. Um, and just a great space to work and as you can see you, you can pop it up and it exposes this kitchen ready to make a cupper on the strider road or whatever you want to do. You need though when you have a kitchen, you need big pantry space. So what we've done is this is a rear fold bed and we've created a pantry which slides out from underneath that bed cavity and look at the size of these drawers. This is huge, you can put all sorts of stuff, you can put food in them, you know, you know, spices if you're going to do a good curry on the road, pots and pans, plates, cups, sauces, the whole bit. And there's power here as well to do that. So just an amazing kitchen and pantry area. At the front here, we've got our uh, large fridge slide. So this slides out and it fits all the big fridges in, whether you want a dual zone, uh, single zone, fridge, freezer, whatever you want, great space to have it all in here for you. Well, you have your gas bottles here on a slide out. This slide out has a, a eight and a half kilo and a four and a half kilo, easy to plug in. You don't have to worry about lifting your gas bottle out of a top box. It's just there ready, easily accessible at a good lifting height. So pretty happy about that. On the top of this box here, we also have a large pole box. So this will store anti-flap kits for your awning. It'll store poles for your annex and anything else. You know, it's just a great place to store stuff. And, uh, you know, I think we've just got a few bits and pieces in there with our wedges and all this, but it can be used for anything. It's great. On the front, we have our DO35, uh, obviously uh, breakaway, handbrake, water tap on the front and also that ARC 750kg twin wheel jockey wheel and some fancy uh, blue water mud flaps to uh, brag with on the road. On this side here, now this is, you can put jerry cans, other storage, a lot of people put a barbecue in here. It is just a great place to put things. So where do you want to store stuff? Extra up the front, great spot here. More storage? Of course there's more storage. And the side here, another pull out drawer. You can put a generator in there. You can put another fridge in there if you want. You can put a freezer in there. You can put whatever you want in there. This is where our major control panels are, major switches, circuit boards, all that sort of stuff. Hidden away over this side with a 15 amp plug in here. So great place to put a generator. If you're not at a campground plugged into 15 amp power, you can plug your generator in here, run that and run that in there. Is that all the storage on the outside? <laughs> of course it's not. Of course it's not. We've got plenty more storage in here. This will store all sorts of things. It's just another cavity. So we're trying to use up all the space we can and use all the storage we can in this camper. Toilet on here. Water fill tank here. Mains pressure tank. And of course, we have positive pressure system. So if you're on a dirt road, create a positive pressure on the inside, reduces the amount of dust in the camper. So that's a great thing to be doing. On here, we have our cover, which is our Truma ultra rapid hot water system here. Then we have an external shower. The external shower is connected here with obviously a drop down, uh, uh, drop down um, shower tent here. So you can clean up from the beach, clean up from your walking track, whatever you want to do. So that's great. Two. Two spare wheels on the back. As I said to you, king size bed, folds out the back, plenty of room. That's what the outside of the Yarra looks like. Let's look at what the inside of the Yarra looks like. First of all, illuminator handle, electric step, uh, split door, so you can have a fly screen door. Put that one away. So in here, you'll be able to see a kids' bunks, ladder, 
storage area, drawers. You also have the uh, main bed down there, which is the, uh, the king size bed. It is a bifold um, mattress. The bunks are here. Plenty of storage inside there. So there's a cavity in the front, which is filled up. These are full width, these are full width bunks. So they're about 1.95 wide, both top and bottom. There's an access ladder to get up into the top. You know, you're out camping. This is luxury for kids, really. They're not sleeping on the ground. They're not sleeping in the tent. This is the way to go. So plenty of storage underneath. We have options for tables. So whether it be a solid mounted table, side mounted table for the bed here. And just behind, we have the king size bed for the family. Um, <laughs> we also find out that most of the kids end up on the king size bed as well. So you can use that for sleeping as much as you want. We have a TV there that can be uh, swiveled to a uh, bunk, see, be seen at the bunks, can be seen at the bed and can be seen in the seating area. So very, very uh, easily to access that. Plenty of storage here along in these cupboards. And last but not least, we have this uh, beautiful ensuite. And the ensuite has a uh, Thetford toilet, shower, sink, Plenty of room in there, vents and at the top, uh, and uh, and your shower rows can sit up there on the side. So, great, great ensuite.